In this video, we're going to learn what is facial keypoint regression and why it's important for face recognition. The objective of keypoints regression task is to predict or regress onto positions of certain important locations on face images. Among other facial features, keypoints include centers and corners of the eyes, eyebrows, nose and mouth. Keypoints are used as a building block in several applications such as tracking faces and images and video, analyzing facial expressions, detecting dysmorphic facial signs for medical diagnosis, and biometrics or face recognition. This problem is challenging when face images are taken with extreme poses, lightings, expressions and occlusions. Facial features themselves differ according to size, position, pose and expression, while uh, image conditions vary with illumination and viewing angle. Let's briefly overview classes of approaches to keypoint regression tasks. Existing approaches to keypoint regression can be generally divided into two categories, classifying local search windows or directly predicting keypoint locations or shape parameters for an uh, entire image. This bears significant similarity to attribute recognition approaches that we have already discussed. For the first category, a classifier called facial part detector is trained for each keypoint and a keypoint location is predicted based on local regions. There are two matters one has to decide upon. Firstly, how to construct local detectors for each face part and secondly, how to choose the right candidate among all outputs predicted as positives by local detectors. In other words, uh, how to meet facial uh, shape constraints such as when the nose must be between the eyes. Uh, to start with, for each face part, such as eyes or mouth, we can construct local detectors. Such a detector utilizes a sliding window uh, to search for a location in the image containing the facial part. For each position of the sliding window, image features, such as CNN features or hog features, are extracted and then classified as related or not related to the facial part we may end up finding multiple candidate regions which all look like the facial part. The second step in recognition would be to gather them into a complete facial shape. Although face uh, comes in different shapes, there are strong anatomical and geometric constraints that govern the layout of face parts and their location in images. We can formulate facial part localization as a basin inference that combines the output of local detectors with a prior model of face shape. To start uh, doing this, we represent shapes as a sequence of connected landmarks or points uh, in the surface of a face. We place landmarks at unique boundary locations, such as salient points on the boundary curves. This configuration is easier to handle than uh, the entire border and is, in fact, more descriptive. We then build a statistical model of uh, facial shape, uh, which tells us where should the landmark appear for a given object. So that allows us to answer a few questions such as what does the average shape look like and what kinds of variations are normal. And for this, we will use the principal component analysis. Uh, in fact, we can also answer a question uh, if uh, a new shape looks reasonably similar to the training data. Uh, to compute a prior model of facial shape, we have a few uh, classical approaches. Active shape and active appearance models are two most representative face alignment models. Uh, in this video, we'll only briefly describe the active shape model, or ASM. In ASM, a point distribution model captures the shape variance and gradient distributions for a set of facial key points uh, and describes the local appearance. The shape of the face can then be defined as that property of uh, the configuration of points which is kept unchanged or invariant under some global transformation. In other words, if S sub T of X applies a transformation defined by parameters t to the points x, the configuration of points defined by x and s sub t of x are considered to have the same shape. To align the model to a newly observed set of image points x prime, 
we minimize the sum of squared distances between corresponding model and image points. If the allowed global transformation S sub t is more complex than a simple translation, then this is a nonlinear equation with no analytic solution. A good approximation can be found rapidly, however, by using two-stage iterative approach, where uh, each step solves a linear equation for common choices of transformations such as similarity or affine. Uh, to summarize, facial keypoint detection is a building block uh, in face recognition, providing information necessary for face alignment. Uh, much like facial attribute detection, keypoint regression may be approached with part-based models or global regressor model. Uh, we can also uh, account um, for the prior model of a shape, uh, such as active shape model or uh, active appearance model, to meet the facial shape constraints.